This dude Bachira had an entire episode dedicated towards flashbacks. So many internal monologues only for him to start popping off. And then what? Isagi comes out of nowhere and says, Psych, you're not the main character, bro. Now, wouldn't it be the craziest twist if we actually won and then took Rin? But the other crazy twist, which is kind of counterintuitive because I've been saying multiple times, it doesn't make sense for us to lose here to Rin's team. We're supposed to, this is supposed to be the comeback match, right? But what if we actually lose? And then what if Isagi gets taken? Wouldn't that be like a better training opportunity for him? That would be kind of insane. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Eight seconds ago. <laughs> okay. Eight seconds in a height, like a really intense moment in a sports anime can last like an entire episode, man. But I should have started popping off. And then Isagi cut in and stole the ball, right? <laughs> he did like 10 different spins like that. But... Everything is going good. And then he stopped it. Yeah. But the ball is still loose. Okay, we stop him. But where is Rin? No, Rin's there. He seems kind of surprised. Okay. Yusagi surpassed Rin in that moment, but... Huh. Why is Egoist monologuing right now? Wait, what do you mean the fate? Wait, wait, what do you mean? It's not going in right now, is it? This is all luck. Bro, that was fucking ri This is RNG! So he won? Bro! We lost again! Holy shit! It actually... That's another plot twist. I really thought that it didn't make sense for us to come back with Baro, build a new team up, and lose again? <laughs> Look at Mr. Glam. Frank didn't do anything at that last play. <laughs> Are they gonna take Isagi now? Probably just gonna say, Isagi, please. Oh, I can live without him. Pick Isagi because you can live without him. Ch Chigiri or Isagi? Alright, shut up, you NPCs. I'm picking. Isagi. Isagi. Isagi did surpass him in that moment. Is he actually respecting the donkey at the moment? Oh? But you can't really crush him if he's on your team. Isagi. Oh, shit. He's taking him back. Oh, shit! Oh! You will watch him become the best in the world at my side. Bro, I don't know how you're going to crush him if you're going to play with him and raise him up even more. This is the best training that Isaga could possibly get. Man, Baro, Nagi, and Shigeru gets knocked down though? That sucks. Because you've actually gained the respect of him. You surpassed him there. That's some bullshit, man. That's some actual bullshit. Because we did everything right. But even then... Luck prevailed, and then it ball fucking luck. You weren't lacking anything. That's just that's just fucking sports. Sometimes you can try your best, do the best, every, everything, like plan everything out, try your best, execute it, and then there'll be bullshit moments like that. It's like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Baro, say something. Naki and Chigiri, they'll be fine, but I want Bar to say something. Ooh. It's good eyes. Yeah, this isn't Eyes of Defeat. No, this is good. I want Bart to say something like, Bro, you've been saying that every day to us. That's our one last donkey, man. We're not gonna hear that for a long time. Oh, Nagi knew that Isagi is actually the main character. Oh, he's breaking the fourth wall. These are good looks to have. I hope that Bar is the one that feels the worst right now. My donkey is leaving. No. He's such a nice guy. My glam. Oh. Say what you want. I still love the glam uh, sound effect. It's nice to have Bachira back. He did. Well, he had an entire flashback moment last episode. But well, that missed. <laughs> nice one. I'd like to think that Rin is listening and watching to all this and just going like fucking NPCs. Oh, there he is. Luck. Luck, because he surpassed you at that last moment. Sometimes, there's no explanation other than just blatant luck. Okay, answer it. 
No, but life is uncertain. Sometimes you just can't do anything. It's just fucking luck. Luck isn't a coincidence. Mm -hmm. It's dependent on desire. So luck even takes skill. I mean, I'd say like luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Rin being in that position, was that him acting on a desire? Yeah, he was. Oh, Ego is supposed to be listening. <laughs> Ego, <laughs> cringe. <laughs> All right. Destroy this concept of luck for us, please. <laughs> yeah. And some people say that you're incredibly lucky because the odds of that happening is really low. That's fucking terrible. Oh, man. Are you saying that we should have been aware that the birds were above us? It only comes to those who put someone in the path. Kind of like what Rin was saying. You gotta, like, position yourself to be lucky. It's not blind luck. Waited for his luck again. Luck goes when preparation meets opportunity. That opportunity just happened to be right where he was standing. Like, I get what Mr. Ego is saying. There is still a lot of luck and chance involved in this. The possibilities, these are numbers game. You just can't predict that. But the whole point is, you have to be prepared. You have to position yourself to be lucky if you want to get lucky. Whoa, the bird! Wait, is that a real bird or is that- Wait, what? He was just talking about pigeons, you know, taking shit on us. Why does he look so cool right now? Wait, what? How is he doing this in this TV screen? <laughs> We're just watching the screen. It just turned into an angel. <laughs> I should be focusing on the dialogue, but how did he do that? I mean, I know this is an anime. I know this is a fictional work, but like, was that CGI he did behind the scenes? Oh, shit, the water effect again. Rin is really cool. He's He has such high standards for us. So <laughs> what is this water aura? <laughs> but... Yeah, he takes this so seriously. Nobody else really is on the same level as him. He's so strict on himself. Because his ultimate goal is to get revenge on his brother, who is apparently even better than him. That's insane. Third selection. Oh? World's top players. The world's top players? Are these dudes? What? Okay, okay. They're probably even more insane than Rin. Yo, look at that pose. Spain International. The scion of Royale. Leonardo Luna. Adam Blake. We've got a nice got an old beard thing. Argentina. Free kick taker. Dada Silva. Heavy tank. Oh. The world five? The world five? Like, these are their country's respective best players? In this age category? I don't know. Dude, look at this, like, pose today. <laughs> Was the cameraman like, yeah, you guys should pose in a really cool way. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> oh, wait. Did they give an intro for that guy? They didn't. Who's this? The child prodigy Julian Lope? Wait, doesn't this guy look like Mbapp? You know? Is that a reference to him? He's also from France. Is Rin probably training? What? He does yoga? Meditation? Damn, he takes this shit way more seriously than even maybe Baro. Because Baro has his own little daily routine. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he did the same thing with Baro. He's like, I want to join your daily routines. Now he's going to start doing meditation together. <laughs> he left him. <laughs> Lil bro. I think you should just talk about it. I don't think Big Bro hates you. Big Bro probably just left Lil Bro and he's like, No, you were the only one that I played soccer with. I have no friends. Don't leave me, Big Bro. I can't believe there's this water effect still, even when he's meditating. One-handed? Damn. Yeah, are you just... It's a post called, you're never going to beat me. <laughs> Dude, he's shitting on us while flexing at the same time. Oh, you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt yourself. Ah. No? Wow, we're actually getting comedy like chibi kind of, it's not really chibi face, but you know those moments where it's like not serious all the time? Even with Rin, we're gonna get some of that. So it's just gone now? That's kind of sad. No! I like that monster effect, that was so cool. 
<laughs> he's like, it's probably like, are you okay? Like, you just hear voices when you play soccer. Like, are you okay in there? <laughs> Imagine just hearing that, like, bro, are, you got some problems? The Isagi and Bachira ship. <laughs> it's back, baby. <laughs> Yaoi BL lovers rejoice. Post credit scene, wait. World's five? Already? Oh, shit. Fuck is this English? Now pay up that oh, no, no, he, no, no, this guy speaks in proper English. Oh, they're actually speaking English, though. I thought they would speak Japanese. Oh, Mr. Clam understands. No. <laughs> Dude, he's me, except, you know, when I I just watch someone's anime, I know certain words, but Mr. Club's like, yeah. I... What do you mean? Is this game like a pertain joke for you? Rin can speak English too. Holy shit. Yo, that. One of the guys was like, wait, what? The, the free kicker is English. You little Japanese this is kind of rude for me to be laughing at people pronouncing English, huh? It is. You dumb brat. Oh shit. Okay, that's enough. You three are acting like children. You will learn Itoshi life. They're actually going full on with the English. Oh, that's a that's a touchy topic. If you were his brother, are they better than him? Is his brother better? Wow, we're actually getting the match started. I thought the episode would end. What if... Oh, oh. Okay. But it's not enough. Oh. Okay. okay. But remember, whoever gets the early lead usually loses. They're probably not even trying right now. He won't pass anymore. Thanks, Bachira. Super egoistic dribbling style, aka just Bachida being Bachida, but without passing. Oh, it's that guy. The guy from France. Julian, the child prodigy. What a name. What a nick, the child prodigy. That's, cons that's insane. Oh, what's this curve? Rin! Show me that water effect, baby. Show me that water effect. Yeah, they kind of just used you there. But. Whoever gets the first lead, it's not usually good. Whoa, not bad. Whoa, not bad. Okay. They're, they're not acting like super surprised though, right? Is that guy supposed to be a reference to David Beckham's face? I don't think we're gonna win though. They actually committed with the plot twist of us losing. Holy shit. Goodbye, Nagi, Baru, and Chigiri. But Isagi finally gets to move up and play with even better players. And we're against the World 5 right now. That English caught me off guard. But then I realized, like, if I try to speak Japanese or a different language that I wasn't, like, really good at and try to say something in different pronunciation, and if I got shit on, that'd be pretty bad. So I probably shouldn't be laughing at that. But something about that was, like, committing to the full English just caught me off guard. We're against the World 5. Itoshi Rin has the big bro complex. Is Sai even better than the World 5? I'd imagine he is. Are we gonna win this match? It's the World 5. It'd be pretty cool if we did, but mm, maybe we're gonna lose. We'll see. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and place my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.